This is a demonstration of the United States Geological Survey image archive and downloading system that we use for the acquisition of Landsat, MODIS imagery and Astra and a number of other ones as well. I'm just going to have a look today at how we search for and download some Landsat data to start with. And if you look, you can just see in the, in the HTML um, website line there, you can see that I've gone already to the Globus website. Just type that in and it's brought up the web interface that I'm going to search on. Now if I move that up, you'll be able to see that um, there's a couple of things that we use to navigate around this interface. And first of all, you've got on the left hand side a map of the globe, which you can um, navigate around and either click on a location that you're interested in downloading an image for or otherwise you can type in the latitude and longitude of that location. Also if you know the path or row in terms of the satellite image acquisition system you can type that in there and hit go. So I've just actually clicked on the Darwin area here and also if you go up to collection and pull the drop down there you can see that there's a number of different sensor systems that are listed within this this um, this interface here that we can download data from. So I've just gone through to the Landsat archive and ticked on the Landsat 45TM because that's what I'm interested in downloading today. But you can have a look at any of the other ones as well. You can also play with other things like looking at the resolution just in terms of how far zoomed in or out you are in the in the viewer window. Um, sometimes it's useful to add an extra couple of map layers if you're not sure exactly where you are in, in terms of context of the area. You might want to add the um, like the boundaries of the country, that sort of thing, or any roads, that sort of thing. Usually I just I leave it as it is, um, just because I'm fairly familiar with the area that I'm going to download. So if you have a look here, um, I've like I said, I've already clicked on the Darwin area, and I'm interested in looking at this scene here that we can just see um, that's highlighted in yellow here. So I can click on any of the individual scenes and as I click on them you'll see that the information here and this scene information changes. Okay, So at the moment you'll see the, the identification number, the percentage of cloud cover, uh, a bit of information about the quality of the image and also the date of acquisition. I can also scroll through to look at either previously acquired scenes or scenes later later in time that were acquired or I can pull down the um, the month box and also change the year if I'm interested in acquiring inf um, an image of a particular date and time. Once I've selected the image that I'm interested in um, I can also go and view some additional metadata of that and it's quite simply just right click on the on the scene that, you, that you're interested in and show metadata and I've just pulled that up already in another tab you can see that it's got a, a bunch of information about that particular scene and if you're interested in any of the particular metadata tabs you can always click on any of the links here and it will give you information about that. The key ones are the acquisition date and time, um, the amount of cloud cover in the image and also the, the solar elevation azimuth. We use that for looking at atmospheric correction. So back in the viewer window you can also see once you've right clicked that you can go to show browse once again I've just already pulled that up in a separate tab and this just gives me a much larger image that I can have a look at and just make sure that the quality of that image is okay and there's no cloud over the particular areas that I'm interested in. Now if I was then interested in downloading that particular image if we have a look up in the top left hand corner here it says the image is downloadable which means it's already been pre-processed and it's, it's ready to download as is. So all I need to do is simply click on the add button and that will go into my cart there and you'll see this this little um, looks like a little padlock just down the bottom here that means that the image is ready to download. All you need to do then is go to send to cart and you'll log in and give your own make it make an account for yourself and you'll be able to download that that scene immediately. If for example I was to go to uh, an earlier date I'm just randomly picking a date um, it pulls up another image there and you'll see that there, it doesn't have downloadable up in this upper left hand side here. That's not a problem, it doesn't mean to say that you can't, can't download it, it just means that it takes a couple of days. So what happens is again you go through the shopping cart and you'll 
uh, enter your information and you get an email confirmation that your order has been received and in any time between one and three days you'll receive another another email saying that your image is ready to download via FTP. Now all of these Landsat images are free as are the Modus images if you have a look under those ones there so either for Aqua, Terra or Combined. Um, some of the some of the EO1 Hyperion and Ali data are also free, but the Aster data you need to pay for.